Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Dear students, welcome to the course of organic farming. So, we have known the definition of the organic farming where we cannot apply any inorganic fertilizer or pesticides or fungicide growth regulators, also the different type of livestock food additives and others. And we have known how to grow organically different type of crops with the help of different organic sources, maybe manure, compost, vermicompost, whatever is the different type of bio fertilizer which, which can use in our organic farming. Also, we have now learned how to we can control the weeds, insect, pests and diseases under the organic condition. And what is the advantage of when you are growing organic farming as a farming system mode by taking not only the animal component, but also with the agricultural and horticultural crops added together. We have also learned different type of composting method and also know different type of what is the benefits of these organic fruits. If we see the kitchen garden, kitchen garden is very much integral part of our Indian agricultural system. Previously, if we go to the our village side, every sm small and marginal farmer has some type of kitchen garden. Either he is growing different type of leafy vegetables, maybe amaranthus or maybe lettuce, otherwise he can growing some different type of climbers like bottle gourd, pumpkin near river with his house. So, this kitchen garden is always has a very pivotal role by supplying different type of nutrients balanced diet and also they help to always supply different type of pesticide residue freely. And nowadays in the organic farming, the consumers are too much nowadays want different type of organic food because they want this nutritious quality and pesticide residue food even in the premium price market. In the COVID situation we have seen due to the problem of transportation of some vegetables from this village area to the urban area, there was a short supply of different type of vegetables. So, sometimes the urban city dwellers, they are not getting a good quality vegetable for maybe one week, five days, six days and that is why the price has been also skyrocketed. So, in this condition, organic farming that is kitchen garden, kitchen garden is a very good concept to promote, to provide food and nutritional security to different type of our consumers family. So, it is not only advocated in the rural areas, it is also being advocated this organic kitchen garden also in the city dwellers. They probably some area they have on roof, probably they can get some area in their backyard, otherwise they have some area on their balcony. So, nowadays people are also interested to organic kitchen garden apart from the doing only the floricultural plants. So, in this lecture I will discuss mainly whatever the different type of organic kitchen garden options, whatever the different types of points you have to take into mind while you want to design an organic kitchen garden for nutritional and quality food supply. So, nutritional value or nutritive value as part of food quality is the measure of a well balanced ratio of the essential nutrients, carbohydrates, fat, protein, minerals and vitamins in items of food or diet concerning the nutrient requirement of our consumer. So, nutritive value whenever we taking some good quality food in a way and balanced diet. So, that will supply not only the carbohydrate, fat, protein to our body, but they also supply different type of minerals and vitamins and that are very much important for our healthy quality life. They have immunity development, they are boosting our defense mechanism and if we see what are the different type of regions why people are preferring organic food especially for the fruits and vegetables as compared to the conventionally grown crops and if you see generally it is known it is higher in nutrients free of the neurotoxin, they also help the brain and body booster, no artificial color in the organic food, not exposed to the gas ripening. People are telling that is organoleptic it is testing better and different type of risks of different type of diseases and other things. So, by these things one of the things we have taken, even if we go for the globally, previously the zinc deficiency, the zinc deficiency was not so much common. But nowadays if you see the zinc deficiency of our human population also, it has been throughout the world. Because majority we are depending for our this nutrients only the plant products and when due to that we are too much growing crops after crops with very much less supply of the organic manure, 
or organic compost in the field. So, soils become deficient in the nutrients mainly especially for the micronutrients especially zinc and most of the plant take the zinc from the soil. So, if the soil is deficient in zinc ultimately the produce we are consuming also will be deficient of zinc. So, we are not getting enough quantity of the zinc ultimately there is a zinc deficiency even human body ultimately our health will be geoparadized. And if you see the nutritional quality can be assessed through the essential nutrient water, fiber, protein, fat, protein, carbohydrate and minerals is there. Also secondary metabolites, they are very much important, this secondary metabolites or phytonutrients. So, this helps in our body, so they act as a defense precursor, say they always help to fight with the different type of bacteria or virus which is coming from the atmosphere. So, always we have to take this type of also phytochemicals in nature and our organic food is generally supposed to have a higher quantity of these nutrients. Secondary metabolites also they have their antioxidant and anti carcinogenic protective properties and if you see all the nutrients has primary function. Water has certain role. Similarly, protein is the new TC's antibiotics. Carbohydrate always give the providing energy source for our mass population. Fat also provide long term energy. Vitamins is also necessary and the minerals. So, always we have to take care how we are taking different type of olens, balanced diet. And in this condition, kitchen garden has play a very major role because every time we cannot purchase for the market, there may be some monetary issue, there may be some transportation issue or there may be the some people or maybe husband or the gents people has gone for working some outside and he is not here for 7 to 10 days. So, at that condition if they have maintained one kitchen garden near about to his house, then they can easily take the harvest and use this quality food. And if we see in our different type of whatever the food we are taking, sometimes pesticide is loaded lot of pesticide residue is there and sometimes their limit is more than whatever the safe limit. So, if we see in case of our brinjal, the heptachlor is 860 percent more residue is there. Similarly, if you case of we are in the rice, there is some, some pesticide 1324 percent. Similarly, in cauliflower, the use or aldrin the residue is more than 320 percent. So, whenever we are consuming this pesticide loaded food, there will be problem with our health. So, always we have to take care whatever the food we are taking, quantity is not only the important, but quality of the food is also very much important. And if you see, we have also done some experiment in different ICR research firm has been doing what is the quality of the different things. And one classical example we have seen in the case of tomato. When tomato we are growing in different organic system, one is the control, we have not given any fertilizer or pesticide, one we are going only under organic. That is mean we are giving only FYM and other biofertilizer. In inorganic, we are giving both the only the inorganic fertilizer, and in case of integrated, 50 percent we have supplied the nutrients through the organic and 50 percent through the inorganic source. And we have seen you know, whatever the in case of our organic condition, you see the ascorbic acid content is significantly higher as compared to your control and inorganic simple. Similarly, lycopene content, these are some quality parameters of a particular foods like tomato. So, these are always higher in the organic farming. So, it has been proven that organic farming is produce some better quality food. So, nutritional security through kitchen garden. Now, what is the role of the kitchen garden? So, that provide the nutritional security. Because if you see in kitchen garden mostly we are not growing different type of cereal crops, rice, wheat, maize and other things. In kitchen garden mainly we are growing different types of vegetables which we cannot store for a longer period. Everybody we need suppose a coriander leaf you cannot store for 5, 6 days, but most of the case is a curry patta leaf you need for your daily whatever the cooking procedures. All these things some leafy vegetables, some amaranthas, some leafy mustard is there. So, every time want to we want to take this type of vegetables fresh from the farm so that we can use for our cooking. And if I see these fruits and vegetables has do not fight disease. But is there absence that causes the disease? It means always you have to take this type of nutrient so that our defense mechanism will be present. So, importance of vegetable is important place of our daily life, especially for the vegetarian, because vegetarian pieces they have not taken the different type of eggs, fish, or proteins through the meat. So, these foods and vegetables play a major role for providing the energy on different type of vitamins and minerals to them. They are also resource of protective element in minerals, vitamins and they provide a diversified colorful tasty low calorie food. So, they have also very much aesthetic value. So, if you see and wherever we grow for some vegetable that yield is very high. Within a small plant of the just pumpkin, we can harvest 10, 20 pumpkin in my or organic kitchen garden that is sufficient to supply some vegetable for one or two months. Similarly, we in the same place their duration is very much less. Most of these vegetable may be three months, two months, four months. So, three, four crops we can rotate in the same field one after the year. Similarly, 
Also, we need different type of fruits and vegetables. Just uh, people want 85 kilo fruit and 300 gram of vegetables per day, and that can be achieved if you make a very good organic kitchen garden. And if we see, they are the not only source the increase, but also the nutritive value of the food. Vegetable fruits also set a higher rate than other crops. Every time you go for the cauliflower, probably this type 100 rupees kilo, 80 rupees kilo green pea. But even we are making small, small this type of intervention in our organic kitchen garden. They not only save you money, but they also give you quality your life by providing different type of healthy foods. And sometimes you have not, they will also reduce your cost of transportation. In case of COVID area, people always want to stay within the home because there is lots of protocol, you should not mingle with so much people. And in that condition, the people who have some organic kitchen garden or kitchen garden in their backyards, so they have not to go every frequently to the market for purchase of these things. So, this is always provided a some better advantage. Similarly, why kitchen garden? Considering the importance of vegetable to our own vegetable requirement to our backyards, this will only facilitate successful production of our own requirement. So, in case of our organic kitchen garden, our main item is not for the commercial purpose. Mo mainly, we are growing this type of crops for our daily consumption. But if there sometime production is more, in that condition, we can also sell this produce in the market. So, this is a safe practice, does not cause toxic residue. So, always we get good quality residue free food. And if we see the kitchen garden also serve the is you make a ornamental kitchen garden, you make a all season landscape, it is a source of harsh vegetable fruits, but also a different type of floriculture also you can do, though, although they are not under the kitchen purpose, they have some aesthetic and maybe some other type of values. And also you see different type of kitchen garden has been done. Exclusively vegetarian garden, you particularly per person four or five family members, they want only to grow different type of vegetables. So that will be exclusively vegetable kitchen garden. Otherwise, they can also mingle with vegetable and fruits. So some fruit trails, maybe papaya is very easy, asam lemon, you need everyday lemon in your food and they are also very high in vitamin C, you can grow in kitchen garden. Similarly, you can also mingle with the flower because you have some aesthetic value, you do lots of puja and other activities, so you need daily flower. So, that for this condition, your flower can be also part of your kitchen garden along with the vegetable. And also, you buy th all the three you can also mix if your area is little bit high, vegetable, fruit and flower. So, what is the nutrition of vegetable is very much important. One is very much calcium, we are growing by broccoli, legume, iron, green leafy vegetables, zinc, we are getting by peas, potassium from the tomato, iodine from the potato skin, vitamin A is very much you know all this orange type of things, carrot is an excellent source of vitamin A and there is lots of is we have problems sometimes with this vitamin A, some night blindness, sorry, deficiency, so carrot is an excellent source. Similarly, vitamin B1, B2, 6 we get for tomato, watermelon, vitamin C is very much important to boost our defense mechanism. If the vitamin C concentration is our body low, our body may be weak, sometimes we are easily affected by cold and flu and for this condition, if you see, you need leafy vegetable, Brussels sprout, broccoli, vitamin D. Sometimes vitamin D is we have to make only we have to take enough sunlight. But sometimes we are too much busy with different type of activities. We every time it is not possible to go for sunlight for even for half hour per day. So in this condition, we have also take some food. We are higher in vitamin D, just like the mushroom. And mushroom you can all small unit in your kitchen garden and you can also cultivate. So similarly, different other vegetables we are going, growing. A person have to choose identify which type of vegetables he need, which type of nutrient deficiency may be there, which type of according to his choice, according to the climate of that particular situation and whatever the availability of other resources by considering this situation, he or he have to select which type of vegetable I want to grow in my organic kitchen garden. The purpose of kitchen garden is to provide food for the family, this is most important to provide food for quality and balanced nutrient. Similarly, the save the in card on kitchen vegetables, every time I am telling it saves lots of money. Every time you have not to go to the market and sometimes it is very high costly. So, in that condition you can use your own consumption. The saving is so much utilized for other beneficial purpose you can use. And also you see in the ancient time kitchen gardens were the only source of food mainly the vegetarian diet. And in the modern era, the kitchen garden supplement the food bodies and balance nutrition. Besides also they have some other advantage. You have lots of kitchen OSTs every day you are producing. You are using the cauliflower, but whatever the leftover part you are throwing. But if you using all the your kitchen waste, whatever the vegetable waste, you can also make a small time of compost. And that compost you can again use for your vegetable garden in our organic kitchen garden. So, you have to less dependence on the, you have not to purchase so much of organic manure or vermicompost to give the source of nutrients for your organic kitchen plants. So, it also give the fresh and healthy vegetable already I have telling. And also in addition getting kids in the gardening process will make likely to the, eat the vegetables. Sometimes lots of our we have seen our just new small kids 
they want to take vegetable, they only want to take maybe chicken, maybe mutton, maybe eggs. So, how you make them interested when they are learning how the different type of vegetables is grow, what are the different type of colors of the vegetable, they will know how to sow them, how to plant them, how to harvest them. So, probably they will be not only involved in some physical activities because in case of COVID and other things, they cannot go for sporting their school schooling is also has been restricted. So, sometimes they can give some physical exercise with small small helping to our parents and besides they also know how to different type of harvesting, how to grow different type of and they will see different type of vegetables so that they can consume they may get some interested. So, clean air is also very much needed. sometimes we bel balcony we give some flowers plants maybe some tulsi and also some type of vegetables for the your aesthetic and the air pollution point of view. Organic vegetable also has the opportunity, you can sell in the commercial market and you can get some good income. Also aesthetic value is there, you want to make a beautiful house, so every day wants to go for vegetable only for the flowers. You have lots of US cities, now are there are lots of, they are growing different type of flowers in the pot, in the balcony, in the roof. So, but they can also include some type of leafy vegetable, so that also can use for their consumption. Similarly, also they are role, there are role some different type of detoxifying, different type of chemicals and other things. And hobby and habit, some people has want to do is a habit. So, you want to be busy sometime, he probably cannot give sufficient time to go for the outside, maybe walking, maybe for gym activities, but in case of his will be little bit busy with his own work. So, whenever they will be little bit busy, his mind will be fresh and that also have some societal value. Plants are good for aura or ethnic body, this is some type of different types of you can just go and also there are many plants, certain plant types we want, they have also some maybe some anti insect properties and other things and save money on the groceries. So, compost your waste, I have already told, sometime you have lots of waste you are generating and this waste every time you are going to the garbage and this garbage is again going back to the big big dustbin and from this dustbin is going to the outside of the city in the very garbage site. So, there is lot of contamination and pollution also going to the environment. By this simple oh, if you want to go some organic garden and whatever the different type of organic waste is every day we are getting from our hill, we can convert to the good quality compost, we can use some arthoam, we can also good quality vermicompost. So, and this vermicompost or compost we can again using for our own farm. Get outdoor exercise, I have already told definitely, recycle and use and if you see site selection. So, whenever we go for some organic farming, this is very much important which site we have to select. This is very much paramount importance without having any knowledge from where we will start our organic kitchen garden, sometimes there is a chance of failure. So, if this site should be in a well placed place, water should not be too much stagnation should be there, there should be some sunlight is available throughout the day. So, if you see Backyards is the most preferred areas, backyards just the area near about your house. If people do organic kitchen garden or anything kitchen garden means near about your kitchen. So, that whatever you need suppose you are want to cook, you immediately need the coriander, you go to the balcony, you go to your backyard house, you take some coriander leaf use. A kitchen garden is not promoted maybe 100 meter or a half kilometer from your house. So, it is always preferred destination near about your house that is called the backyard of the house. Terraces, some people may have not in the cities and other things, they have not probably too much area in their backyard. So, they know enough land. So, in that condition terrace can be also used. You, in your terrace you put lot of pots, you can make big big concrete structure square or rectangular in shape, you can fill with the soil along with compost, you can purchase the seed from the outside, maybe it is better if you can get the organic seeds and after that you can grow in your terrace. A simple example here you see some people they are growing this type of structure in their terraces to get some seasonal vegetables. Window seeds, sometimes people have not that much area also. So, in the window also itself they have also just climbing lots of different type of pots in different size and color and they also want to grow some some small small vegetable and also mainly they are growing the different type of flower plants. So, this also give the aesthetic value to your house and also see the pots the, there is a, a can be grown in plastic pot, other wooden plots, but one thing is that whenever you grow it, there should be some scientific management of practices. You know which type of crops should be grown in which part of the year, how will go the rotation of different type of crops and how the whatever the different spacing, in which spacing how much scientific spacing should be there, otherwise be too much be overcrowding or other things and the pot should be have some drainage they have one or two small hole in the between, otherwise whenever you give too much water, water will go down into the pot and it will be stagnant and, and plant may die. So, also there is a plenty of sunlight is very much needed. You can grow if there is sunlight is very less, there is a some type of vegetables or crops you can grow which is 
set tolerant, but most of the, our vegetables or fruits plants, they need some type of sunlight. So, always you try to place the pots and other things in such an area in your organic farming. So, there should be sometime maybe 1 hour, 2 hour, 3 hour sunlight is coming. And there is another near of the water source, because all these vegetables are we are growing with the help of irrigation, because there is soil depth is very much less and maybe in the month of winter there is rain. So, in this condition there should be some tap water or maybe some other facility will be there, so that you can irrigate the crops. So, what is the advantage of the kitchen garden in the backyard? We already know what is the advantage of the kitchen garden, but this is only what is the advantage when you make your garden near about to your kitchen or a house. It is not expensive, you will get your family regular convenience supply healthy vegetables and they does not contain any toxic materials, so it will be pesticide receive, you will manage, you know whatever the vegetables I am going, what I have spread, it supplies fresh fruit and save the expenditure and effective utilization of the kitchen waste and kitchen waste material, because different times of your in your kitchen lots of water is there, lots of water is going in the kitchen basin. So, this water is being wasted, so you make a small things. this kitchen whatever the water utensil you are cleaning and other things, you made a small pipe and could can put directly to the farm, otherwise you can make a small tank in the your garden, kitchen garden and that water you can use for the irrigation. So, this is the efficient use of resources, so that your water whatever the water you have not to take from the outside. Similarly, your exercise and body or mind will be done. Now, the size, two thing is very much important for your garden, what will be the size, how much area according to your availability is there, how much time you can give every day, because generally kitchen garden we are not telling too much of labor we are hiring. Most of the people who are doing their homework, mainly ladies have played this women has plays very important role for maintaining the kitchen garden, because they are mostly involved in the different type of activities, maybe sowing, planting, harvesting. So, according to the availability of the land, your size will be depend, number of person is a family, so that how many people can little bit one hour, two hour time and spare time also, if he is too much busy from morning to evening and from both husband to wife, that is very tough to maintain the kitchen garden also. So, according to the time also you have to uh, size, I have to make a small garden, otherwise I have to make the big garden, whether I will go only for the perennial plant. Uh, which need less care, otherwise you have to grow different type of annual crops. Similarly, there is fence kitchen garden. Similarly, a particular family has a some fencing near about his house and this fence is generally made maybe bamboo, otherwise fence may be made from the iron rods and different type of vegetables like climber you can pumpkin you can grow, different type of bustles you can grow and different type of others may be pea can be grow. So, whenever you can grow bottle gourd, cucumber, snake gourd, dish gourd, pumpkin, spine gourd, you can grow in the fencing. And so, you can also other like amaranthus species, some vegetable are nursery transplanted here, you can grow and they also can give me climbing. So, this is called fence type of kitchen garden. Similarly, perennial plot, when you have some area in your backyard, so there is a that is perennial, so you can go from some karipatta leaf, so that every day whatever the need you made with dosa, idli, whatever your choice, so you can take the karilappa. Similarly, you have the asam lemon, every day we need lemon for our consumption. So, this is a perennial pet, they will stay for 5 years, 10 years, 20 years. So, definitely you can grow for different type of papaya also, banana also you can grow EPG raise little bit more. So, according to a size of the area, according to the person in your family, how much time you can convert, give for little bit of working in your farm and according to your choice of the food or vegetable, you have to take which type of vegetables or fruit will be grown. Compost pit is very much important, I have told. So, whenever we also do this type of organic farming promoting in villages and other things, always there is need of compost pit. So, whatever the residue is there, maybe crop residue, your may be animal dung, your may be whatever this present in a farmer's house that can be easily decomposed in a compost pit and farmers are very much interested to know whatever the different type of compost, how to make vermi compost also. In case of a roof garden, where the kitchen is getting a very small area, we cannot make a that type of very big, but he can make a small maybe 2 feet by 2 feet compost pit, pit and with the help of different type of arthoams and other decomposer, he can make the compost. This compost is very much necessary, when, because you have to very less depend on the market, you have not to purchase the FOIM or compost, because whether growing you organically or not, you have to give the nutrient to the plant and in organic, in organic kitchen garden you cannot apply any fertilizer, so you have man dependent on the compost. So, organic manure is a different type compost, there is panchagrubbo, so there is different type of cow products, 5 cow products we can produce also the panchagrubbo, jivamruti is there and also the seaweed extract sometime, bone meal, rock phosphate, these all you can use in your composting pit. 
path and irrigation channel. Irrigation also sometimes is very much neglected. So, always in case of if you ever go for some organic kitchen garden, your area is little bit room. So, you can small path also here. So, in the evening time, morning time, you can walk inside your kitchen garden. You may be cement dump or it may be some brick. You can make some type of irrigation channel if your area is kitchen garden little bit more and you can also sell the surplus in the market. So, you can give different type of irrigation system, you can put small drip irrigation system, you can mod small type of sprinkler irrigation system with a very defined capacity and seasonal plant you can make different type of beds. Suppose you have a one this type of big type of your organic kitchen garden plant. So, you can make small small made this type of structure, I can you grow different type of vegetables and different type of things. So, one plot may be for potato, one plot may be for cabbage, one for coriander, one for amaranthus, one for others and immediately you can change interrotedly. So, by this made methods you can grow different type of vegetables in your farm. Cropping pattern, so always is very much important to which type of crop we should know, which varieties to know, in which season we should grow. Because if you grow off season vegetables it will be tough to manage. Sometimes there will be lots of insect pest. So, always try to promote that type of crop which are particularly fit to particular situation. Grow more than one crop in a bed in succession for judicialization. So, generally in kitchen garden people are using not only one crop, different type of crops and one after two or three crops in the same plot of land. Vegetable must be sown at different dates. Why the different dates? If you sow all the same dates, all the cabbage you have done in the same date, so they will be also come in the harvesting in the same date. But your not intention is to sell in the market, you want to feed in your home. But if your sowing date is different, 10 you have driven today, 10 you have seen after 10 days and 10 cauliflower again you just sown after 10 days. So, what? Whenever this first batch of cauliflower or cabbage will be matured, I will consume within this week. After that the second lot will consume, after that the third lot. So, that whatever the vegetables you are growing, you can consume for a later part of time, maybe one month, two months. Otherwise, if you are growing all the vegetables, your cabbage, cauliflower and other things in the same time, so probably they too all will come into the maturity at the same time. So, you cannot consume, you have to sell off this produce in market. Similarly, select the vegetable according to the season. Definitely, I am telling if you want to go cauliflower, cabbage in the month of this time, very hot June, July, August, there will be too much insect pest. But if you grow this type of things in case of your kitchen garden in the month of December, January, so, there will be very less problem. So, choice of the family members is very much important, which type of family member which want, maybe your children want carrot. So, in this condition you can include carrot in your system. Similarly, also it is the local market demand, if your area is little bit high and you can produce some surplus vegetable which you can sell in the market. So, at that condition what is the market price and what is the market preference for which type of vegetables that should be included in your organic kitchen garden. So, one of the other important thing which is a paramount importance for promoting a sustainable organic farming is the crop rotation. Crop rotation means we should not grow same type of crop in the same field years after year. In case of very big commercial agricultural system, sometimes the farmers will not very ready to use different type of crop rotation. Suppose in the case of rice wheat system due to the assured supply of their produce and also different type of government's promotional scheme and the price by the um, MSP that is minimum support price, farmers are growing this type of crops and sometimes they are become hesitated to grow different type of other crops, they do not know what will be the remunerative. But in case of small organic kitchen garden, our commercial we are not thinking, we are not thinking to sell in the market, mostly we are thinking how to get throughout the year we get enough balanced diet, different type of good quality food. So, in this condition crop production can be easily adopted. Suppose we have a small area and we are going 30 or 40 brinjal, but every year we are growing brinjal in the same plot, same plot, there may be some problem of the bacterial wilt. So, but if you can come rotate with this brinjal, next year with maybe some leguminous crops like soybean, cowpea or groundnut or others, then definitely whatever the causal organisms will present in the soil, they will be drastically reduced. So, the insect pest disease attack will be less and it is very much necessary because in this case of organic farming we cannot grow for any inorganic pesticide and even for the different type of organic pest and management disease management practice which is very easy to handle for a large farm for small farm we cannot take. So, we have to take care of crop rotation in every time when we are growing and also we have to grow not only one crop in vegetable or kitchen garden, crop diversification lots of crop we want to grow. So, it also the nutrient already provides what plant, suppose some plant we are growing they take only the surface feeder, they take the nutrients from the surface layer but some plant we can go whose root will go to the deeper layer, so that nutrient will be taken evenly distributed. Always rotate the crop with leguminous to maintain soil health. 
this is lotuminous different type of leguminous may be bean you can go for pea. So, what they do they have a nitrogen fixation capacity in their root in the form of root nodules with the help of rhizobium bacteria they can fix the nitrogen in the soil and that nitrogen can be supplied to the crop and this nitrogen also will present in the soil. So, whenever we are growing some next crop there may be we have to use less amount of organic manure or compost. So, we example is sometime we have to grow food crops, root crops, deep rooted crops. So, different type of we crop rotation we have to done. So, these things always we have to keep in mind how we can rotate, how scientifically we can manage our small organic kitchen garden. So, that the efficient utilization of the nutrient will be there, we have to less dependent on the external input and our productivity will be maximized. Weed management, weed management also plays a very important role because whenever we using different type of organic manures and compost, if they are not decomposed properly, they also carry lots of weed seed. But weed management, we cannot grow any type of herbicide spray, but in organic kitchen garden, if the area is very much less and near about to our kitchen, our vicinity of our house, sometimes it is very easy to uproot all the weeds with the help of manual, that is with help of hand. But we try to weed down because our plants are very less. So, if we allow weed to grow 30 days, 40 days and definitely there will be yield reduction. So, always we have to try to promote whenever weeding coming here a very small finger stage, we have to uproot with your hand. And also we can grow different type of mulching, we can newspaper covered with straw because newspaper everybody in house we are using some leaves. We can also for the cover crop and creep the crop through by using finger weeder. Sometimes we have used small small instrument finger weeder or manual some mechanical weeder is also there we can also use for the organically weed management in our kitchen garden. Pest and disease management is very much important because in organic kitchen garden we cannot apply any insecticide, pe pesticide or fungicide. So, what we have to think? We have to think wisely, not all the pests are bad. So, some may be beneficial organisms are there and if we can know whatever the insect is good, so probably we will not go for any pesticide spray. So, always if we go some specific problem, some strap crap we can give little bit of light to insect will be attracted, we can manually kill them and if there is needed we can also different type of organic pesticides. Neem oil is a wonderful example, you can different use of neem oil, you can also different type of bio pesticide is also available in the market, you can use the trichoderma, you can do the seed treatment with this different type of bio pesticide so that your insect pest disease will be low. Similarly, you have to take only crop, only varieties in your kitchen garden which are very less affected by the insect pest. We have to recommend the varieties which are little bit resistant to the insect pest and diseases. So, also can use the neem oil at the 4 liter per water and neem seed kernel extract at the 3 percent. Avoid spraying of toxic chemical and integrated crop management is very much necessary. Whenever go for management, you do quality seed, seed is the single type of source, sometimes lots of organisms, pathogens, they are stay with it. they are seed borne. And whenever we growing in our kitchen garden, there will be lots of insect pest, mainly the disease will occur. But in this condition, if we go some quality seed and if we can do seed treatment mainly with the organically trichoderma or some other or some hot water treatment maybe using for different type of vegetable crops, the chances of pest especially for the disease will be too much less. Also, we should use oil decomposed FOM, not the compost which is not compost. There are a lot of insect larvae will be there, but in case of oil decomposed compost and FOM, the chances of their contamination will be too much less. We can use oil cakes because generally oil cakes are little bit costly and they are called as concentrated organic manure. If we cannot apply for one hectare because dose may be very high and it will not be economical. But in case of our small organic kitchen garden pot and other things, we can easily purchase several few, few kilos of this organic, uh, this is oil cakes, maybe sesame cake, maybe mustard cake, maybe sunflower cake and that oil cakes we can use in our as a manure system. Also, you can make a small vermicompost unit near to our kitchen garden. So, whatever the kitchen waste is there, vegetable waste is there, crop residue is there, so we can convert them into a good quality manure. So, we should also go for organic residue mulching. So, there are suppose we are growing some type of vegetable in a lines and in between vegetable there are too much space. So, if you one line of vegetables is growing, second line one type of vegetable we are growing. So, this area we can go different type of mulching we can put the rice residue, we can put weed, we can give some type of plastic also. By this reduction not only they reduce the weed emergence in this area, but also they conserve the moisture. So, if there is less irrigation or less water, we can grow with this help of residual soil moisture. Similarly, fertility and texture of the soil may be maintained with applying adequate nutrient, 
ridges as furrow on each plant. Sometimes all some top crops is needed some little bit higher bedside if you wanted to go potato, it needs the earthing up. So, whenever you grow different type of crops in your organic farming system, you have to see which type of crop I am growing accordingly is there raised bed, sunken bed system will be there, there is a need of earthing up or not. And you see this is one organically kitchen garden we have developed in our ICR research complex for northeastern hill region and we are growing different vegetables. One is cabbage, cauliflower, radish, coriander. Similarly, certain parts we are growing different type of climber vegetables. This is you can grow, this is you can grow bitter gourd, you can grow ridge gourd, you can grow bottle gourd. Also, you will daily we are using leafy vegetables. There is rye that is leafy mustard also can grow. Also, you grow different type of pumpkin, we are growing uh, chili, we are growing brinjal, we are growing pigeon pea. So, when in the organic kitchen garden, we always try to diversify maximum type of possible whatever the different vegetables because only one vegetable is, is coming it is not possible for because it is here our main intention is not to sell in the market only we want to take from our hum, home consumption. So, if you are growing different type of vegetables so our choice will be good we can cook different type of items. So, our balanced food what is the very much needed for our healthy diet we will be served from only for kitchen garden and we have not to depend too much for the external market. So, what is the different type of vegetables we are being cultivated in the kitchen garden and their recommended package of practice is generally differ with location to location, space to space. Some, some general advice we are giving to grow, if you are growing this type of French bean, there are varieties Nagalikan selection and what is the sowing time. So, always we try to promise you should not go for very off season every time cultivation. We are want to promote whatever the different type of vegetables growing in a particular time or area. So, that you if you grow in that season the chances of insect pest will be very much less. What is the spacing is needed? Principally, in case of go for cucumber bottle gourd pumping, they need a layer space 5 meter by 2 meter. So, why is it very much necessary if your organic for kitchen garden area is very much less. So, you cannot grow for this type of crop. But if you make some bamboo machan above your surface or above your field, you can grow this type of crops and you can put this crop about the bamboo machan. Similarly, for different this why different type of vegetables, you have to know whatever is the different type of vegetables is good, whatever the different type of varieties there, what is the actual sowing time and in the sowing of the time we should not grow all the in the same time. Suppose the sowing window is for the January to February. So, certain part we can grow in January 1 certain seed we can go for January 15, again certain seed we can grow for showing in the February 1 and again in the February end. So, that our harvesting time will not be at a same, so that a farm family can get or any city dweller who are growing the organic kitchen garden, he get the assured supply of these good quality vegetables over a longer period of time. Similarly, also there is cabbage, leafy mustard, cauliflower, radish, coriander, and they have different type of spacing is recommended and you have to also sue whatever the harvesting period. Some vegetables you can if you want to make very quick organic garden and you want to harvest very easily you should go for the leafy vegetables. Suppose coriander can be harvested within one month, leafy mustard will be can be used one month, amaranthus can be one month, but you can sometimes for brinjal or tomato probably you have to wait for three or four months. So, according to your choice, according to your farm family or according to your family of the any kitchen garden what is the family members want according to you have to take the different type of vegetables and you have to know different package of practices whatever the different scientific organic management practices for them. Irrigation is also sometimes very much needed because especially we grow kitchen garden only not for a crop period only for the rainy season. Maybe in case of normal agricultural soil after rice the rice land is being fellow, but in kitchen garden we always promote crop rotation cropping intensity should be enhanced 2 crop 3 crop 4 crop per year but so for that irrigation is needed. Irrigation may be provided by never over the water harvesting structure, other is your kitchen waste, what is your tap water, whatever the irrigation source you should be apply and harvesting consumption, harvest the produce in the backyard as per the daily requirement of the family. Sometime in case of your market is too much very high and we want to sell our produce for a big farm, we want to harvest two days, three days in advance and we harvest in a big quantity so that we can sell in the market. But in the organic kitchen garden generally suppose in our family member decide today we will do some sabji with a cauliflower only they will go to the field and harvest the cauliflower. So, only as per the daily requirement. The surplus produce can be harvested at appropriate stage and sold out in the local market to face some additional income. So, if the area they have little bit high. So, in this condition not suppose there as a 20 cauliflower can be harvested within one or two days. And cauliflower this type of cauliflower suppose you are growing you cannot keep the cauliflower in the field after that after 5 or 7 days your quality will be too much deteriorate and no one will take. 
So, in that condition probably you have to harvest this vegetable and whatever is needed for your fem family you keep there and rest of the amount you can take and sell in the market. So, you get some additional money. So, sometime also give some additional livelihood security to the farmers especially in the peri urban areas. Peri urban areas people have maybe some land maybe some 0 0.05 hectare or 400 square meter area and there is in the city is very much nearby and city people they want very this type of fresh vegetables, they want organic vegetables and if you do the certification in your farm, there is a chance to grow very good amount of money because these vegetables whatever growing in the kitchen garden under organic certification is very highly costly and there is some classes of the people in the cities who are staying, they are ready to pay the extra money for this organically quality produce. So, according to the need of this city condition, some farmers who have the area nearby the cities and other things where you have not to take too much transport cost or distance, he can go for this type of organic kitchen garden. Then also some vegetable can be utilized for value addition because sometime you have maybe some produce there is too much chili, you can use the chili as a pickles, there are too much lemon is producing in your farm, you can go for the different type of jelly, pickle and chips. So, what is the different type of vegetables generally we are promoting grow in our organic kitchen garden and if we see among the fruits generally papaya, acid lemon, pomegranate this type of crops we are generating. Sometime if the area is little bit high you can also go for one or two plants of banana, you can grow for mango, you can go for jackfruit because jackfruit you not only help in the for vegetable purpose you can also as a take as a for your food purpose. Similarly mango you can do lots of pickles you can use as a chutney, you can also use as a fruit. So, whatever your local preference, whatever the family member want accordingly, but in our kitchen garden generally for fruit crops, we do not give too much area on the fruit. Generally, we do not give too much area more than 15 percent, 20 percent area of the fruits because if we give too much area to the fruits, generally they are perennial in nature, but they are fruiting only one time say in a year. So, you may be get some mango in the month of some time and only one month period and rest of the 10 month you will get nothing. But we are promoting always the vegetables because different type of vegetables you can grow throughout the year and you get lots of quality food so that you have very less depend on the external market. So, you can grow tomato, binjal, chili, onion, bhindi, bitter gourd, bottle gourd, amarantha, slab lab, beetroot, radish, curry leaf. Curry leaf is very much important. Most of the South Indian dishes they need this curry leaf and one curry leaf plant will be sufficient to provide throughout the year what were the leaf requirement for a 4 or 5 member family. Similarly, moringa. Moringa is also too much nutritious in nature and too much protein content potassium content is also there. So, one farm just a kitchen garden you can put one or two plant also moringa you can keep. You can call also in the tapioca spices some people are maybe want to know different type of spices. So, they need very good quality spices so that can grow for some area for turmeric maybe some area for gingeric or fenugreek. Medicinal plant also play a very important role in our organic kitchen garden. One of the very important plant you have know very well know is the tulsi. Sometimes we are using tulsi with honey for everything cold and fever. Similarly, in case of different type of aloe vera plants are being used in our daily consumption basis. So, this type of also we have to promote these medicinal plants in our because all the times you cannot go to the market, you will not get availability is very much less all these medicinal plants. So, you can go different type of mint, you can grow basil, tulsi also there is pirandai. So, according to your need, according to your preference, according to your climate, the farmers or the growers have to decide which type of grow I will crop, whether I will go for only for the vegetable, I can combine with the floriculture, I can combine with the medicinal plant, I can combine with the fruits according to the size, condition, how much labor they have available, how many family members is there and what is their time schedule, how much time they can devote, only they have to accordingly they have to see. So, what is the different type of maximizing is your garden? Maximizing means your area may be less, but how you maximize your production, how you diversify your production within small area of the organic kitchen garden. So, one is the intensive gardening, we are growing crops after crop, one crop has been complete harvested, the next crop will come, after that you go for the next crop. Second is the square foot gardening, you see in the square foot measures because you made lots of this type of things, you cannot control in the area is very low. So, you cannot demarcate which crop I will grow here. So, one feet by one feet you grow one crop, second one feet by one crop another crop, after that one crop, but by this small one feet one feet raised bed structure, you can grow different type of vegetables and flowers in your farm. So, this is very much recommended for the organic type of kitchen garden, especially in the city portion, we have there some area in balcony, maybe some area in their roof. 
Similarly, also you can grow different type of pots of available, in bucket is available, you may be use plastic bucket, you can also make the different type of wooden otherwise in the mud uh, that is mainly the soil pot. Similarly, you can grow also vertically, if your area is very much less, but you have a, some type of wall. So, it is a very also the innovative thing, you can grow different type of structure mounted in your wall and you grow different type of leafy vegetables in this wall mounted structure and but you have to also provide a good quality medium compost and you have to regularly water because their root depth is very much low. So, when there is soil depth is very much low, so whatever the moisture will be there it will be immediately absorbed by the crop. So, probably daily you have to give this type of irrigation. So, you have to always think, but if you have very less time you cannot grow give water every day, you have to give only water in a 10 days or 7 days then probably it is not recommended. So, you have to take your choice. Now, intensive garden is there, planting are in groups, can be former or informer and this you see one square foot planting how the different type of crops, maybe French bean is growing, tomato is coming. So, according to your need you can decide. This is the square foot planting guidelines, how the farmer a growers can go by this simple techniques, this is one crop, this is one crop, this is one crop. So, he can make a calendar, that is crop, crop calendar. I want to grow this type of 20 vegetables in my organic kitchen garden and this is the different pot size 1 meter by 1 meter or 1 feet by 1 feeding and accordingly I will give the time, I will make a chart in my one calendar type we will made. So, which area, which square foot area or which square meter area I will grow which type of vegetables or flowers in my organic kitchen garden. So, sometime some may be in if you are going in the roof house, you are no, you have not any soil you have some place above your balcony or above your roof. So, in that condition how you grow the vegetables? You have to make some raised bed structure, so that you can put some type of soil, compost anything. So, you can make wooden, you can make this concrete one and by this way also you can grow different type of vegetables. So, raised bed ideal to grow vegetable, less work is needed. So, whatever the soil is there it will be keep here, that will not grow outside of the, your farm. So, if there are any rain also it will not go outside, so there will be less dirt, you have not to clean every day reduce weeding also will be there and extend the growing season because you are taking good quality soil along with the compost. Container gardening, sometime you have not the facility of this type of wooden structure big big or maybe concrete structure, but you have some choice to go for some organic vegetables in your garden. So, you can grow different type of container you see big container maybe for you need for some curry leaf or maybe some moringa small container you go for leafy vegetables and how differently, how nicely you are arranging that is upon your value. So, how you are have a very good manager to plant different type of vegetables is depend, ensure adequate drainage. So, everywhere we give a small hole should be there, so that be if there is some too much rainfall or maybe you are putting some extra water that can be drained out. Usually good quality potting soil is very much needed, if the soil is too much nutrient deficient then you will be very tough, because their soil amount is very much less. So, whatever the soil you are giving that should be in the good quality and oil be mixed with the oil decomposed organic manure, vermicompost or compost. Add compost regularly, so you after two crops, one crops you have to add some compost so that the nutrient fertility whatever the they are it should be maintained and you can also poles vertical spacing, so be creative. So, this is some aesthetic value, the people will tell how beautifully you have managed your organic kitchen garden in a small particular area may be in roof or in your balcony. So, success and planting is different thing. Success and planting is sequential cropping. So, we are growing not only one crop, first we crop the harvest, they can we grow for the second crop, after that the second crop. So, there is intensive cropping that is called success and planting, used to extend harvest and also use the success and planting sometime when you are used. Suppose I am telling you have the coriander, but do not uproot the coriander plant, simply at the harvesting time you cut that. So, whatever the regrowth will come, again it will be available for 10 to 15 days. Similarly, for different type of your mint, pudina, you harvest one day, again it will cram the regrowth. Similarly, you should not grow all these vegetables or whatever the things may be cauliflower in a single day. That is also time, sometime called is staggered planting. I have planted today maybe 20 plant, after 7 days again 20 plant, after 7 days again 20 bed. So, that all will not come maturity at the same time and a consumers, their family members can use these vegetables a longer period of time, maybe one month, two months they can take the vegetables. Otherwise, if you grow in the same time, they will come the harvest size and there will be spoilage, otherwise you have to sell in the market. What is the companion cropping? Two or more plants placed together, one or bent feeding. So, there are sometimes some vegetables is needed, one plant may be need little bit shade, one plant may be little bit like. 
So, by beside within the light uh, loving plant, you can put some shady plant so that do not need so much of sunlight. Similarly, sometime you have to also grow marigold in case of different type crops because marigold is known as a trough crop. Different type of insect they will attack first and they will not allow to easily attack to other crops. So, they reducing the insect pest diseases. Similarly, also two plants you can grow some cereal, some other type of vegetable, you should grow some leguminous crops so that the nitrogen fixation will be there, your soil quality will be better. So, benefits of the companion is the safe space because every time we have not enough space. So, companion plants is one way to various plants want to grow in your garden itself. It is perfect oil for small gardens and maximizing the efforts. Weed absorb nutrient and do not let the plant grow. So, with companion claim you can keep unnecessary weeds out. More plants mean it will have more water hence beneficial. Prevent soil erosion, sometime you are growing some type of crops and if it is too much species, maybe 1 feet, 2 feet in between is there and there may be too much rainfall in a particular day or you are giving water with a some hose pipe, there may be too much soil loss will be there. So, and your soil is very much precious. So, how to reduce the soil erosion? In this area, whatever the area is there between two surface lies of the brinjal crop and you can grow some, some companion cropping. You can grow for leafy vegetable, you can grow for cover crops like cowpea, you can grow for pea. So, your soil surface will be covered. So, whenever there will be too much rainfall or other things, your soil will not be easily lost. So, the soil erosion will be also much very much less. So, you see how we are growing different type of vegetables in a beautiful organic garden. This is a farmer is growing broccoli. So, sometime he will use his farmer, the in farm family rest he will sell in the market. Similarly, we are growing also different of uh, all cabbage also, carrot also, chili also. So, there are lots of example of this type of kitchen garden is there, but how efficiently you are managing organically this is the question and always you have to take different type of points, location specificity, what will the seed will be available, how you will produce my organic manure, then only the success of sustainability, then only you can manage a very good organic kitchen garden. So, there are different nutrients is needed for our body, while the calcium is essential for healthy bone and teeth. Fiber is also necessary, the dietary fiber have been shown to a number of beneficial effects, decreased risk of coronary heart disease. Folate is also very much needed, sometime we are giving folic acid to our patient especially for the women. Iron is very much needed, otherwise there is lots of anemic people in our India and there is iron deficiency in women also after the pregnancy. So, there this we also we can supply through provided sub or quality vegetables and fruits which are growing in our organic kitchen garden. Similarly, magnesium is also needed for healthy bones. Potassium diet rich in the also the healthy blood pressure, sodium is also needed, vitamin is very much because keep and healthy skin and there are lots of problem of night blindness and other and in this condition growing carrot and other crops helps for the vitamin also the infection. Vitamin C, heat help cuts wounds, teeth and gum healthy and most of the things you have seen, we cannot whenever you have some good quality of the vitamin C, some food high amount of vitamin C, but whenever you cooking has been done most of the vitamin C has been degraded. So, the vitamin C quantity will be quality will be reduced. So, how to get but vitamin C is very much necessary for my defense mechanism. They also help to act as a fighter in the not only the different type of microorganisms, but also they are helping to fight in the common cold and flu. So, in that condition if you have organic kitchen garden, you have different type of chili. So, every day you can harvest the chili, you can use the tomato, you can use the asam lemon and other things and they are not going through the process of the cooking. So, whatever the vitamin C is present in them, you directly you can consume. So, there are different type of implements also, you may not be need very type of tractor or power tiller or other machinery or big sprayer, but some type of small instrument is also very much necessary to maintaining a organic kitchen garden. It is may be spade, axe, hoe, hand sprayer. It is not necessary you need a 15 liter napsa sprayer because area may be low, but you need a liter 5 liter hand sprayer, 2 liter or 1 liter hand sprayer. So, sometime you are insect if different lots of insect has been come. So, you made some 5 ml of neem oil into 1 liter of the water and you can easily spray. When your area is small, number of plants are small, whenever you have a keeping vigil, you try to clean your garden. So, it is easily you can get whatever the insect are attacking and they are very, very easy to control. Similarly, you can go different type of rose can for this is for water and secature and how to get the best value. Grow high value crop that little space always needed. In organic kitchen garden, we are not allowing to people to go for rice. We are not telling you people to go for a lentil or maybe some other crops. We always want to that type of crop which take very less area 
production will be more and that will be very costly. So, that we have not to purchase from the market and that is why fruits and vegetables take a very pivotal role and they have occupied the major position in case of our organic kitchen garden. Tomatoes are high maintenance and need lots of watering, but they go vertically and lots of fruit. So, a tomato plant you can also climb in your fencing. So, they area will be low, although they take some type of caring, but they can go vertically along your wall also. So, by these things you can manage how type of different type of vegetables you can grow in your organic farm. So, aim for increased yields plus improved taste and value as compared to the soft produce. And this is the different type of garden tool you need know, horse pipe, hoe, you can do different type of sprayer, small, small this type of different type of trowels, hose and we can use. Similarly, lots of our kitchen is tool is there, you can cutting board, knife, towel, they are also sometime help. Probably every time you have not these farm implements, but is these instruments there, you can use there. So, if you see, sometimes you have not enough quantity of seed. So, you can change your exchange of seed with your some neighbors. You take some seed, you take some compost, you can also give them. So, this is called the swap with family and friends. Choose crops that are expensive to buy, I have already told. Grow crops that taste better and fresh and fruit is also will establish. So, you have some spy, spice, little bit extra pace is there, you can grow for also for the fruit plants. So, school gardening is very much important, when lots of students are also entering in the school. If there is some school garden is there, if the small, small students know how to make organic kitchen garden, they will give different type of moral and aesthetic value, they will know different type of vegetables, their choice of eating will be good and also there will be some physical exercise. And where the lots of students are staying in the hostel, they can manage all their school garden. Similarly, economic benefit is also there, I will tell. In our small organic farm of 0.1 hectare, 0.1 hectare, just 1000 meter square area I have done and we have done lots of vegetable throughout the area and you see we are getting about 19,000 per hectare that is the income. Beside that we are also getting for five farmer, five member farm family throughout the year whatever most of the time of vegetable and fruits and also the area you can yield up to 1,91,000 it is per hectare basis. So, he is getting also assured income. So, that is why under the different farming system, different our government schemes and organic farming also the tribal support plan. We are trying to promote organic kitchen garden in the cluster approach in the villages. But in case whenever go for organic kitchen garden, sometime water is not available. So, in the higher hills, sometime the, you cannot go for very big pond, water will not be there. But you can store water in small plastic sheet that is called jalkund. And above the plastic, you see lots of vegetable you can grow. And in the near about the jalkund, and can also grow different type of winter vegetables. So, whenever there is a need of water, I can use this water. Otherwise, for this case, ultimately it also reduces the evaporation loss of the water and the area is utilized. So, how efficiently you are utilizing the area, that is upon your choice. Composting is very much necessary. So, whenever we are promoting the organic farming or organic kitchen garden initially for a farmers in a cluster approach, we try to promote different type of composting unit. It may not be necessary very big vermicompost unit. Sometime you have to also promote vermicompost in a small unit that is the plastic sheet and monitoring by the scientists has been defining how you are growing different type of compost in your garden. Community nursery for vegetable garden, Some, sometimes vegetable are very costly. You cannot purchase these seeds 500 or 1000 rupees for a single packet. So, you can do community type of nursery, one farmer can grow the gardening or 5 or 6 farmer and after the you see when it has been come to the transplanting stage, you can sell to the other fellow farmer, otherwise they can commonly distribute by themselves. Similarly, poly house is very much important. Sometimes there is too much rain in the outside and in this condition you cannot grow different type of nursery. But here you can grow different type of oxygen cultivation also, you can grow ma also wherever there is too much rain, there will be less problem. So, you can produce your produce whatever the vegetable early in the market and there is lots of you organic bio organisms is there, biocontrol agents there, you should be always promoted to treated in organic farm. So, buying these things all the taking care of, there is a tremendous chance to grow our organic kitchen garden. In our traditional system previously we have organic kitchen garden, but over the years due to my humans we have too much busy with some other works, people are going to the cities for works and family is getting very less type and you are getting lots of vegetable nearby markets, so they have practice has been reduced. But again we have to go this type of organic kitchen garden for not only for the villages, but also for the cities for a providing very good quality and pesticide residue fruit throughout the year, so that our health will be maintained and also the we will be little bit busy in some our leisure time and our small kids can learn many things from this organic kitchen garden. Thank you.